Hello, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel where we discuss all things related to financial services. We talk about the IMOs, we talk about the comp plans, we compare the comp plans, we compare the IMOs. All things financial services we talk about on this channel. And as always, the opinions on these videos are mine, opinions generated over the years in the industry, making bad decisions, seeing things as they really are once in an IMO, and what the truth is about trying to get out of an IMO once you decide it's time to move on. On this video today, I'm going to try to explain in very simple terms what is life insurance. What are the principal types of life insurance? This video really is an example of what the New Agent Success Academy will be all about in 2020. So be sure to get signed up by clicking the link below. It is free. There is no cost. I'm selling nothing here. So let's go ahead and get started. What is life insurance? Now, some of this may be very, very repetitive or very simple and to most of you that already are in the business or are actively out there protecting families right now, but there's a lot of people that come to this channel that are researching the industry or quite honestly have got started and don't have a clue what they're doing and no real support. So this video is really directed at them. You can share it out to people maybe on your team, agents that maybe wanted just a kind of basic overview of what life insurance is all about. If you so choose, that would be great. If you are a current subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a current subscriber, I recommend you click that subscribe button below, mash the bell, give me a thumbs up if you like the content, and leave me a comment. You can certainly reach out to me. My content information is in the description, phone number, email, more than one way to get a hold of me. Let's have a conversation about what's best for you. Look, this is December. I hate dating these videos, but in just a few weeks, we're going to be entering into 2020. In any case, it could be your year if you position yourself uh, to take advantage of 2020 with the right team, the right mentorship, the right coaching, and the right industry. This industry is peaking right now. Timing could not be better. There's an old saying that TN timing is much more important than TN talent. So let's go ahead and get started talking about what is life insurance. There really are two principal types of life insurance. Term insurance, whole life, and permanent. And we're going to talk about them on the next couple of videos. Whole life is sometimes called permanent life insurance. And it really encompasses several subcategories, including traditional whole life, universal life, variable life, and variable universal life. About 7 million individual life insurance policies bought are term, and about 7 million are whole life currently. That's annual numbers. Now, it's important to understand that life insurance products for groups are different from life insurance policies that are sold to individuals. What we're talking about today is life insurance sold to individuals, a type of insurance that you and I would sell sitting kneecap and kneecap over a kitchen table in the daily activity of our job going out and protecting families. So let's start with term insurance. There are several different types of term insurance that people can consider. First one is renewable term insurance, yearly renewable term or five-year renewable term. Yearly renewable term at one time was a top seller, really not so much anymore. The most popular type is now 20-year term. Most companies will not sell term insurance to an applicant for a term that ends past his or her 80th birthday. Very, very important part when you're strategizing your cases to understand once they get past their 80th birthday, really there's not a whole lot of options. If a policy is renewable, what that means to you as an agent and to the client is that it continues to enforce for an additional term up to a specified age, even if the health of the insured would cause him or her to be rejected if he or she applied for a new life policy. That's a very, very important part. The point that your client needs to understand, if the policy is renewable, there is no evidence of insurability required. In other words, they're automatically eligible to renew that policy. That is a big deal that you and your client need to be clear on. So generally speaking, the premium for that policy is based on the insured person's age and health at the policy start. And the premium remains level for the length of the term. So premiums for a five-year renewable term can be level for five years, then to a new rate that reflects the new age of that insured. And, and that goes on basically every five years if it's a five-year renewable term. In other words, if it's a five-year renewable term, that premium's guaranteed level will not increase for five years. At the end of five years, it will then go to the new rate reflecting the age of your client for every five years. And that goes on for every five years. So longer term policies will guarantee that the premium does not increase during that term. 
That's why I always tell my customers, buy as much as you can for as long as you can because this stuff's not going to get any cheaper and you can always cancel it. That's why I don't like 10-year term policies unless that's all they qualify for because there's not much difference in premium between a 10 and 15-year product, but the time goes by like that and they're done. And now they're without coverage, trying to get new coverage. A lot of things could change. The one thing we know for certain it will change is their age, but there could also be medical issues that have developed over that 10 year period that might make them uninsurable or certainly a whole different rate category. There are many policies out there that don't make that guarantee of level term and level coverage, which enables the insurance company to raise the rate during the policy's term. You gotta be very, very clear on that when you're explaining the product, when you're doing the case strategies for your client that you are offering the right product and you're telling them the right information based on that product. Some term policies are convertible, which means that the policy's owner has the right to change it into a permanent type of life insurance, again, without additional evidence of insurability. And those are called convertible term insurance policies. And then there's level term insurance. Level term means that the death benefit stays the same throughout the duration of the policy. So you have 10 year term, 15 year term, 20 year term, 25 year term, 30 year term. Then you have decreasing term insurance. Now decreasing term insurance really is the traditional mortgage protection type of life insurance. Meaning the idea is that the coverage is decreasing as your mortgage is decreasing. So what happens is both are heading down. The term insurance is going down in lockstep with your mortgage. So at the end of the, your mortgage, you also have no coverage. Not a very good product because the one thing that does not go down is that the premium that the client's paying is level for the entire time. So if it's 15 year, 20 year, 25 year, 30 year, the premium that they're paying never goes down, but the value of the product is dramatically decreasing. So if it starts out at 300,000, at let's just say it's a 30 year term, and 29 years later, they're sitting there with $2,000 of coverage because they have a $2,000 mortgage balance. That all looks really good, except they're still paying the original $300 a month for $2,000 of coverage. It's a horrific investment. So I never recommend decreasing term insurance for that very reason that the decreasing term means that that death benefit drops usually in one year increments over the course of the policy's term. Then you also have increasing term insurance, which means it's just the opposite. You start out low at $80 and every year on the anniversary of that policy, it can incrementally go up. So you start at $80, it may be 500, 10, 15 years down the road. We normally call that annual renewable term. I don't sell that at all to anybody and haven't in my entire career. So term insurance really is the simplest form of life insurance. It pays only if death occurs during the term, 10, 15 year, 20 year, whatever it is, if they die in that period of time, it's gonna pay out that death benefit. And most of these term policies have no other benefit provisions. Now, now you might be able to get some living benefits on these term policies today because living benefits are very, very popular. And many of these carriers are now including them on most of their products. So again, you, you wanna give your client what's in their best interest and certainly living benefits is in their best interest. It allows them to collect off that policy in the event they have three things occur to them, critical illness, terminal illness, or a critical injury, they can advance up to 100% of that face amount. If they survived a heart attack or stroke, yet they're disabled, can't work, have zero income, what good is that life insurance policy to them? If they did not die, they're still living. So understand how valuable living benefits are, and, and my recommendation is find a policy that does offer living benefits. There really are two basic types of term life insurance policies, level term, and decreasing term. About 90% of the term life insurance bought today is level term. Then you have return to premium. In most types of term insurance, including homeowners, auto insurance, if you haven't had a claim under the policy by the time it expires, you get no refund of the premium even though you did not use it. Your premium bought the protection and you'll hear that from your clients. So what I tell my clients is remember what you're buying is protection. So even though you get no refund of the premium, your premium did buy the protection that you had, but you didn't need. And that's the fair value exchange. While we as agents know it's not really a valid objection because Look, if you, you, we have car insurance, we have health insurance, and if we don't get sick or we don't have a car wreck, we can't say we wasted our, our money on car insurance because it's required. We had protection in the event of. 
That's the idea. It protects against risk. But it is the number one objection that we hear a lot out in the field, and some people are unhappy about it. And some people can't get their head around that and are not happy that they may have life insurance and not need it. And I always say, Jack and Jill, hey, listen, we have this return on premium product, which means if in 20 years, if you don't die, you're happy that you didn't die, and we're happy because we didn't write a check. You're going to be able to get up to 100% of this money paid back to you. It's essentially a forced savings account. And I use that in my presentation. So as a result of this objection being out there, and it's a pretty major objection, some of these insurers have created term life with a return of premium feature. But you have to remember, the premiums for this insurance with this feature are often much higher than the policies without it. And they generally require that you keep the policy in force to its term or else you forfeit the return of premium benefit. Very, very important to understand. Some policies will return the base premium, but not the extra premium for the return benefit, and others will return both. So you have to be clear on what your product that you're looking at provides your customer. The next principal type of life insurance is whole life or permanent insurance. And there are four basic types of permanent insurance. The first one is whole life, which also has joint whole life and survivorship life options, universal life, variable life, and variable universal life. So today we covered the types of insurance. We dove a little bit deeper on what's available in term insurance and those options available and how great return of premium is. Catch the next video where I'll go over the most talked about or presented types of whole life or permanent insurance coverage. Until then, remember, go out there. Be willing to be bad before you're good. What we do matters. Get out there, protect some family, start building your client base and building your residual income. And let's have a great 2020. In the meantime, if you're looking around and you're checking out IMOs and you're confused, give me a call, shoot me an email, send me a text. We can jump on the phone and have a conversation and we can find out what IMO is best for you. But more importantly, you got to find somebody like a mentor and a coach that's leading from the front that's putting their name on an application. I'm not talking about recruiters that are recruiting and they never sold anything. I'm talking about someone that can teach you the skills necessary to have long-term success in this industry. Someone you can call up and talk every case out with them. You can call them from the home and they can help you answer the questions that client may have. Somebody that's really partnering with you for your success long-term. That's the key to success in this industry. Give me a ring, shoot me a text, send me an email, and we can chat. Don't forget to sign up for the Agent Success Academy. The link is in the description. And if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you smash the subscriber button. Make sure you hit that bell. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the content. And send me a comment. I always get back to the comments within 24 hours. Grateful that you're here. Have a good day. Bye-bye.